actually. Go do the uh, cold open. Uh, welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may be bring you the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi, and anything else that I think is groovy. Hope you'll enjoy tonight's offering. On with the show. Fallout London, Final Progress Video 2024. Yes, yes. Greetings, it's me again. Letitia here with another Fallout London update video. Before you get all confused, watch the update to round off last year. Sorry. Stop it. Here for us, but stay tuned, you'll find out some news that you've not heard yet. Welcome back to Old Blighty. Sorry. Now, let's keep things short and sweet this time, so I'll pass you straight on to Bonhart. Bonhart here from the voice acting team, speaking on behalf of the PR team, because many of you commented on our last video, slightly confused by the huge numbers and what the word sell actually meant. Well, it's simple, really. Our world is made up of cells. A cell refers to a level or location in Bethesda's game engine. As much as an interior level is a single cell, a world space is made up of a collection of cells. We are clarifying this to give context to this list in respect to exterior world spaces. So when we say we have 150 exterior cells, we mean something a bit like this. And considering this tiny little dot awesome. here is the player, you can really grasp how big a single cell is. So yeah. when we say there's 3,764 of them spread over 15 burrows, you can really feel how big the world actually is. The burrows are diverse and detailed, with areas each having their own distinct feel. Detailed recreations of many traditional London landmarks can be encountered, along with newly developed areas fitting with the Fallout universe and the vision for Fallout London. We are happy to say that Fallout <coughs> London is indeed meticulously detailed, teeming with creatures and fully nav-meshed, truly pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the Fallout universe and Bethesda's game engine. Next up, some of you bombarded our comments about why we didn't show the weapons in detail, nor any of our collectibles. Well, there was simply too much to show. When it comes to weapons, many of these items are of course already accessible via our standalone mod for Fallout 4, but much more will be in the full game, so it seems silly to show them again. One of Fallout series staples has always been its collectibles. We decided to spice up the Fallout tradition with goodies like beer mats, gramophone records, comics, special books, and cigarette cards, with a whopping 123 comics of entertainment. Nice. With plenty to choose from, we're oh, sure that all this him. effort will pay off what? when wayfarers feel right at home, bending off a radiator. What is that like a European a badger? Whilst munching on some spotted dick. We hope this has cleared some of the burning questions for you all. I'll pop you over to Prilla Dog for a word about the release. Have you ever found that during a game your ping has been terrible? There's an entire world out there, and yet it feels like you're stuck in Korea. Private Internet Access helps you overcome these obstacles by letting you change your IP address to one of 91 countries and choose from all 50 U.S. states, allowing you to gain access to websites and services from all over the globe. You can also use Private Internet Access to get cheaper prices for games when switching regions on a VPN. Perfect for getting Fallout 4 cheaper just in time for the mod's release. But this isn't just for gaming. It can be used for security oh, I planned as for well. that a long time ago. Free Wi-Fi, like the kind you find at coffee shops or airports, are great because they're free, but also extremely open, leaving you vulnerable to having your personal information stolen. Private Internet Access safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel, shielding your digital life from the eyes of those that are looking to exploit your private information. And these guys are the real deal. They have a no-log policy that they successfully defended in court, which means they don't store any personal data about you, the person actually using the service. Private Internet Access is available for all platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iPhone, and many more. And now, you can use one Private Internet Access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. 
Signing up for private internet access is risk-free. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee and 24-7 customer support. Sign up for private internet access using our special link in the description to get 83% off and four months free, which comes out to $2.03 a month. Hello, hello, Pretty Dog here, the project lead. I know, I know, we said 2023 and we didn't do it. If you've not seen the video explaining why, then click the link below and it'll take you right there. The long and short fit is that some of the global conflicts happening in the world today hit some of our team members quite hard, understandably dragging their focus away from the mod. But with careful reorganization, we managed to get things back on track. But we hadn't tested as much as we'd like. So we chose to delay it until the 23rd of April, 2024. So there it is in a nutshell. And like we said, we're sorry. But the 23rd of April is rapidly approaching and we'll be it there with what we hope you'll be glad to play and we can be proud of. So until then, I'll pass you over to someone who's going to tell you about our voice actor updates. Hi again everyone, Stanska here, going to tell you some of the things to do with the voice acting department. Not going to be waffling too much here, but I want to show you some of the great inclusions that we've got here for you within the mod. Some of you keen-eared viewers have seen that we've got an Irish policeman in our recent video, and that's right, it is none other than Call Me Kevin. He's been an absolute star and recently helped us out. It's great to have such a great supporter included in our mod. Good, fully voiced. Now if we have at a least look at the very important the role of Arthur, who is a leader of Camelot, he is voiced by none other than a very familiar Bethesda Games community staple, Gopher. Fallout London certainly contains some notable figures like the two Doctors, Sylvester McCoy and Colin <coughs> Baker. Something to note about our voice acting department is that everyone comes from such a wide array of backgrounds. Some of those are YouTubers, streamers, as well as actual working professionals. And some of those names are none I other than Neil Newborn, like Dan this. Bull, Tunnel Snakes Fool, Harrow Pons, Pathetic Wolf, Voldemort, Anna Demetriou, and the simply talented boys from Squire, and we have many more that we are going to hold in store for you. Our voice actors make up the backbone of the project, and whilst it's always good to have little sprinkles of magic here and there, it's the sheer talent overall in the voice acting team that will oh, make that Fallout guy. London what it is, truly driving home the story and narrative for you to enjoy. That's the VA section all rounded up, and now we're going to have a look at some 3D with Paul Warren. Hi everyone, I'm Paul Warren, and I've been recruited back into service to tell you all a bit more about the 3D department's work on the faction's outfits. I'll give you all a quick focus on each of their styles, beginning with the gentry. The gentry are styled as a group nice. with an aristocratic and tenpenny vibe. They showcase a regal and decadent fashion sense, it sets them apart from the rest of like the, the white glove this is uh Members white glove society gentry, i know and viewer tailored clothing um just to let you know we're looking at uh fallout london uh this is their last update in 2024 before they release the game in april so excited can't wait including three-piece suits waistcoats and silk cravats top hats monocles and fur-lined coats complete their ensemble exuding an air of privilege and opulence, even in the midst of the apocalyptic turmoil. Camelot has their style in a nutshell. They dress as the post-apocalyptic Knights of London. They don regal and battle-worn attire that pays homage to the legends of the Round Table. Their clothing style is a blend of medieval and post-apocalyptic elements. Embodying looks the chivalric really good. spirit I can't in wait. the world gone Oh back. man, look how good the ghoul looks. Nice. Very nice. The Vagabonds channel the iconic Peaky Blinders style, with yeah. a hint of post-apocalyptic flair. Their clothing is an homage to the classic 1920s era fashion, featuring tailored suits, flat caps, and suspenders. Hell With yeah! Instead of razor blades mm -hmm. hidden in their caps, Good they carry sense. a sense of roguish charm that sets them apart. I... The Isle of Dogs Syndicate exudes an unmistakable aura of London Mafia gangsters. 
reminiscent of the infamous Cray twins. Their clothing style is a blend of vintage charm and criminal swagger, perfectly reflecting the criminal empire they've built. The Tommies, as a faction, epitomize a post-apocalyptic tribute to the valiant soldiers of World War I wow. with a modern fallout twist. Their clothing style combines the ruggedness of World War I British soldiers with the advanced so combat somebody raided a museum or two. How you doing, viewer? Series. The Pistols are Fallout London's punk gang. They flaunt a rebellious and edgy fashion sense that perfectly embodies their anarchic spirit. Their clothing style is a riot of vibrant colors, ripped leather jackets, studded belts and mohawks that scream defiance. Tattoos and piercings are their badges of What's honor, up, brother? while combat boots and fingers... Checking out Fallout London's coming in April. Punk ensemble. Uh, we, did, uh, we did watch your video just a little bit ago. Very nice. Uh, you, uh, uh, <laughs> in a very uh, awesome reactionary movie, I actually said the title. It was nice. ...as one of London's scooter mod culture gangs. They exude a distinctive and we took, uh, sense of checked out of uh, Channel X as well. back to the originals Excellent. in the 1960s. Their clothing is a nostalgic tribute to the past. Yeah, it was right on cue, man. Like, I, I was, uh, I was very pleasantly uh, surprised by it. These mods ride scooters adorned with mirrors and headlights, adding a touch of elegance to the post-apocalyptic landscape. They really delve into the retro, cool aesthetics in Fallout London. Miller's men... The hard-hitting skinhead gang of Fallout London sport a no-nonsense oh, and street an immediate smart enemy. fashion style. Lovely. Their attire consists of shaved heads, work boots, and suspenders, echoing the classic skinhead look. These tough individuals favor slim-fit jeans and plain white t-shirts or button-down shirts, projecting a sense of working-class pride. Miller's men and their fashion embody a fusion of rugged aesthetics and a subculture with a history all its own. The Jack Tars, the historical yeah. British Navy gang Absolutely. in our version of London, proudly wear the uniform of the Royal Navy. Their clothing style is a throwback to the golden age of the British Empire, Hell featuring yeah. crisp white sailor shirts. Uh, you know, I was always disappointed that we didn't get to do more with the, uh, I think, was it was it the Enterprise? the the floating uh the floating ship uh that we got off the ground and it crashed into a, another building i was i was very unhappy that's uh, that's all we could do with that i would very much like to have had my own airship mm. navy blue bell bottom trousers and traditional sailor hats these uniforms are adorned with authentic insignias and badges showcasing their dedication to naval tradition with the Jack Tars, you'll experience a rich slice of history and maritime culture, Sweet. really bringing a nod to cannons, the seafaring man. days of yore in this unique Arr. Fallout mod. The hooligan style is quite simply that of a raider and football gang. Yeah, they yeah, truly okay. embody that gritty and aggressive fashion sense. Their clothing style merges elements of rugged raider attire with the unmistakable look of British football hooligans. You'll see a sea of football jerseys, often tattered and stained with the sweat of battle, paired with worn-out combat boots. Scarves, often in team colours, are draped around their necks to signify their loyalty to the gang. Tattoos, face paint and shaved heads are common, reflecting a no-nonsense I do like the helmet attitude. quite a bit. Many of these assets were made by the following. I like London the helmet team. that he's wearing. Others were made by community. The rest models. of it looks a little bit too much like Legion for my uh, for my liking, but world. you know, Full like, I do for like all. like the nightly look. I'll move you over to Letitia to round things up. Oh, it's a ghoul. Thanks too. again, everyone. We hope you've enjoyed our top picks in our development update. Remember, this is only our top picks. Can we play there as a ghoul in New London or in Fallout Discord London or on our social media? As always, feel free to leave your comments, and hatred, in the comment section below. We publish new content as often as we can, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. I'm uh, Letitia, and not as Fallout always, 1, thank Fallout you so London. much for watching. It's a, it's a we'll see you again soon. One second. Stay safe, and remember... 
Mind the Gap. Right there. Hey, it's fucking beautiful. I do need to play Fallout 1 and 2, but that is a whole nother fucking like state of mind that I have to be in for that game. It's like playing uh uh, Wasteland 2 um, or 3 um, and I do remember the first Wasteland yes 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 can't wait for it let me know what you thought in the comments ladies and gentlemen like subscribe and share uh, I'll see you in the next one guys be safe happy and healthy